what's up everybody welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to be doing a kind of a walk through slash review of a paddle here called the select wild i have actually used these this company before select paddles i did a full video on the select warrior all carbon straight shaft if you haven't seen that go check that video out now to give you an idea but check out this was another paddle that my buddy don suggested i try out it's called the wild it's a fiberglass blade with a carbon fiber shaft and it's more of a all around top paddle because the warrior had almost no flex at all this one actually has a pretty good amount of flex in it in the shaft and in the blades which you know for all those people that don't want to have a full carbon with extreme like no flex onto the joints that this might be a better option for you and i've already done a full like more river running top laps. I had it up at the Whitewater Center. I let my buddy Floyd Miracle, he paddled it. And actually, I'll let him tell you what he thought about it right now. So he just did a full lap in the with the Select Wild. What'd you think of the Select Wild? Uh, I like it. It's light. I didn't feel much fluttering that I'm accustomed to with a lot of, you know, fiberglass type paddles. Yeah. I'm a bench shaft guy myself. That's what that's what he normally uses right here, everybody. He uses a hardcore mango, which is wood carbon. I like the shaft because the shaft is kind of smaller. I don't uh -huh. like the real thick shaft, so it's easy to maneuver in your hands. You think you would get one? I think I'm going to. Listen to that. Satisfied customer. He's already, he's placing an, I think I've seen him placing an order on the water. I like the power pull that this thing had. It's a very well-designed blade. You can see the shape of this blade. You can see how the shape of the blade is. Like I said, it's more, it's kind of a combination of a, like a Warner player meets a powerhouse. A very good combination actually to have. Fiberglass blades, carbon fiber shaft. This is also, and that's what's crazy. You know, it's a carbon fiber shaft, very well made. I've already used this on several creaking. Today, I'm in my, my play boat, so it's gonna be more like a play boating day. I'm gonna use it for cartwheels, splats, and all that. It's held up extremely well. And the sizing on this, so as far as the specs on this, I'll throw the specs up on the screen now, but I'm thinking it comes in at 675 as far as surface area. So 675 centimeters on surface area. This is a 197.30 right hand control. But you can get these anywhere from, I think, a 185 to a 204, and they come in also straight and bent shaft. And the color options, so these actually have color options. There's a, you know, a red, a blue, and a green color option. So that's pretty cool because, you know, you drop your paddle in the water, you want to be able to see the damn thing. And that's, I like that. If, if you don't, then, you know, you probably need to put some yellow tape on it or some red tape or something. You know, once again, just like the Warrior, these are kind of like stickers right here that will scratch off. I've only used this a few times you can start seeing the stickers scratch off one of the best features about this paddle is the oval indexing I everybody that uses it really likes how select had indexed their their shaft it's indexed from about right here to right here so you can see there's indexing all the way and then it's rounded off there and their shaft isn't overly large either so it's kind of i would consider this a mid shaft warner has a i i have bigger style hands so i don't mind like a large shaft but this one feels really good in my hand this one retails uh the straight shaft retails for 250. i'm thinking the bench shafts are and 250 on a new paddle in today's market is crazy and this one is the noc demo so big shout out to the guys at noc that let me try this out they do noc does have these in stock and also don up at high water hobbies he's imported them in and he could get you all you need so between high waters hobbies and noc you've got several options to pick one of these paddles up but i can tell you guys i don't think you'll be disappointed in going with this route 250 dollars on a very solid built it, feels indestructible this thing feels tough you guys leave in the comments below if anybody's used one of these wilds with the fiberglass blades if you broke one or how it's held up for you because so far i've been really impressed i've used it for about two weeks straight now so i've had it and i've been putting it through it has a little bit of wear to it but it's wearing really good for a fiberglass paddle i do have like scratches on it and you can like i said you can see the stickers peel off on it but very impressed with how they do that sealant around there and that's like a solid top sealant they bond that into the blade and shaft if you guys have any questions or comments on this feel free to leave them below and i'll leave links below where you can pick some of these paddles up thanks a lot everybody thanks for watching and i will um catch you guys next time let's get on the water let's go do some cartwheels who wants to do some cartwheels